Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a prospect who's gaining a lot of hype the past couple of days after he ran his 40 time and he put up crazy metrics for his height and weight. Today we're gonna to be talking about Kyle Pitts, the Florida tight end who many are seeing as one of the most intriguing prospects of recent memory. Before we hop into the content of today's video, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and slap a like on the video if you guys do enjoy it. We're on the road to 600 subscribers and every single sub helps, so if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe. And with all that being said, let's hop into the video about Kyle Pitts. In a weak tight end class, Kyle Pitts makes up for it with how good of a prospect he is. Pitts is only 20 years old and won't turn 21 until halfway through the NFL season, making him one of the youngest players in the league at the end of April during the draft. Pitts is a 6'6", 240-pound tight end who just ran a 4'4'6 at his pro day just a couple days ago, and many already saw the freakish ability of Pitts before his 40 with his crazy athleticism and his ball skills as a big tight end, but his 40 time really raised the eyebrows of a lot of scouts, and by my guess, probably a lot of GMs as well. Last season for the Florida Gators, Pitts had 43 catches for 770 yards and 12 touchdowns, averaging around 18 yards per catch. He did it in only 8 games last year and still managed to put his numbers up, you know, while being a tight end. The word generational has been thrown around with Kyle Pitts. It's not often that we see a guy his size with his speed and his catching ability come out into the NFL draft. He's still a very young player and a raw player. He's only 20 years old, like I mentioned before, and that gives him a lot more time to bulk up, you know, get better on the line, block as a tight end or even improving his route running and his ability to create separation which would go a long way in helping him improve his game and increase his upside even more. NFL scouts have been quoted saying they've never seen anything like Kyle Pitts before. We've never seen a tight end his size with his speed and all of the attributes that he has in a player into one. Before his 40 yard dash, a lot of mock drafts had Kyle Pitts going outside of the top 10. Before that, I didn't really see any mock drafts where he was actually one of the top selections. But recently I started seeing him get mocked more to the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, the Eagles are looking to trade Zach Ertz and they need a weapon on the outside for Jalen Hurts who's their young quarterback. The Eagles have been looking for some receivers and some playmakers for a couple years now. And Kyle Pitts would be a great landing spot there. You know, they definitely need a tight end to replace Ertz who's gonna be heading out the door pretty soon. And I think that's a pretty likely spot that Pitts could go, you you know, come into April. You know, over the last few years, we've seen the emergence of, you know, a few really good tight ends, such as Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, you know, Darren Waller. We've seen them being used more than, you know, they ever have in the NFL. You know, there are always some really good tight ends, but the way that teams are using, you know, tight ends now, splitting them out wide, putting them in the slot, letting them run wide receiver routes, the position is developing into more of a, you know, receiving role with, you know, blocking and staying in line, you know, becoming a second thought. Todd McShay, you know, he usually comes out with player comps, he actually compared Kyle Pitts to Darren Waller. He thinks they have a similar frame, similar length, and as we've seen from the speed, they're pretty comparable with how fast they are. And if you could get a Darren Waller on your team, you're gonna have one of the best playmakers in all of football. As we've seen, Darren Waller's absolutely been insane for the Raiders the past couple seasons, and he's been a safety blanket and one of the biggest playmakers in the league you know, for Derek Carr. If Kyle Pitts could be that for somebody, that pick is a home run. See, many raise the question, maybe Pitts should be switched to wide receiver, because maybe that fits his more skill set better, because he's not really an inline blocker, but I think it's a lot tougher to be that tall of a wide receiver. There's not that many 6'6 wide receivers in the National Football League, and I think if he stays in the tight end role, he can excel in more mismatched situations, because if he were to switch over to wide receiver, he'd be going against the best of the best cornerbacks. So I think if he stayed as a tight end, he's gonna be able to force more mismatches, and I think a team will look to use him that way if they decide to draft him. The Kyle Pitts hype train has been gaining a lot of fuel recently. On NFL Network, an analyst says that Kyle Pitts has the best chance to be a Hall of Fame player, which is a hard thing to live up to. We all know how hard it is to make it to the Hall of Fame, and if somebody says you have the best chance to be a Hall of Fame player, you must be pretty talented and you must really believe you know, in your upside. Daniel Jeremiah, who is also a really respected analyst, he even projects Kyle Pitts as a Hall of Fame player. It's not very often where you see somebody project a guy who's never played a snap in the NFL as a Hall of Fame player, and that just shows how much somebody believes in Kyle Pitts' ability and his talent. It's been 49 years since a tight end actually went into the top five of the draft, and only four tight ends in the last 24 drafts have actually gone into the top 10. So if Kyle Pitts was selected in the first five picks, it would be history and something that has never you know, been done for the last 49 years, which would really show how teams value Pitts and his talent and upside as a player. Mel Kuyper Jr. has been on the record comparing Kyle Pitts to Kellen Winslow Jr., a Hall of Fame tight end, furthering the case that multiple people believe that Pitts is going to be a Hall of Fame player, or at least has the talent and potential 
to be a Hall of Famer. We don't just have one NFL draft analyst on board with Kyle Pitts, we have multiple. I've already quoted three in this video, three of the top draft analysts that people know about that have already came out and said Kyle Pitts is likely to be a really elite player and he even has a shot to be a Hall of Fame caliber player. I think Kyle Pitts is one of the most safest picks in the entire NFL draft. I don't really think there's a way that he's gonna turn out to be a bust. He has some really big expectations and maybe it'll be hard for him to reach those in time, but at the very least, he can still be a productive tight end or target in the National Football League. He's still got all the skills to produce at the next level. He can catch, he can route run, he's got the speed, he's got the strength, and he's got the frame and the length and all of the abilities to be a great player. It's just about putting on the field and continuing to work on his game and studying what it's like to play in the National Football League to reach those expectations. I think the Bengals are a team that could possibly take Pitts and have another target for Joey Burrow, but I think it would be in the best interest of the Bengals to actually take an offensive lineman to protect the quarterback who's just coming off of a severe knee injury. I think the best and most likely landing spot for Kyle Pitts will actually be the Philadelphia Eagles, and that's where I'm gonna project him going. In the next few weeks before the draft, I'm gonna come up with my own mock draft, so be look up for that i'm gonna give a brief overview of every single pick for my first round projections and that's kind of a sneak peek of one of my picks i'm gonna have cal pitts going number six to the eagles so although i'm not gonna have him breaking that 49 year drought of a tight end going top five i'm gonna have him going in one of the first few picks of the draft and i think with his recent 40 yard dash the chances of him being picked early are better than ever and i think the eagles are gonna take a flyer on him and he's gonna be a great player for him the eagles still need to make some decisions about their quarterback are they gonna go forward with jalen hurts or are they gonna try to draft a quarterback Back in this year's draft or are they gonna try to you know maybe maneuver get a sam donald or another type of free agent quarterback to compete with hurts we still have to figure that out i personally don't think the eagles are going to invest in a quarterback this draft i really think they want to surround hurts with some weapons and some playmakers and see what they got in them this upcoming season and i think that's why they're going to take you know what many see is the best playmaker in all of the draft i think pitts will have a good rookie season i don't know if he's going to live up to the elite generational tight end in one season and still only being a 20 year old i think he's going to take some time to develop. Tight end is one of the most difficult positions to transfer from the college level to the NFL level. I think Pitts will have to improve as a blocker a little bit. He was a decent blocker at the college level, but like I mentioned before, in the NFL going against superior athletes, I think he's going to struggle a little bit to hold his own on the line. He's got a slimmer frame, you know, that's better for pass catching, but when it comes to blocking and staying on the line, that could be problematic. I think if he could develop that up, he could be an even more versatile player. I think he's going to spend most of his snaps out wide, you know, in the slot. Lot. I think he's going to be very similar to Darren Waller, and I think in his first season, I think he can get around an 800-yard season with eight or nine touchdowns, and I think that's what I'm going to project for his stats for this upcoming rookie season. I think Kyle Pitts will end up being one of the more easy picks of recent memory. I really don't think there's a chance where he turns out to not be a very good player, but let me know what you guys think of Kyle Pitts and how good you guys think he's going to be at the next level, and what team do you think will be a perfect fit for the tight end. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and drop a like for me if you guys did enjoy it. I'm going to be coming out with more videos like this, talking about the top prospects and the upcoming draft. If so, if you guys don't want to miss that, be sure to turn on the notifications, and be on the lookout for more videos. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.